as Jubilee Center, we host visiting teams so that we can strengthen our relationship with them at local level, with the churches that we work with, the communities where we work in, and the families that are in the local churches. This year, we hosted Eastern Nazarene College, and with them, we painted a local police station. We spent time with families in Mungkulungwe village, drawing water and cooking with them. We played with children in Shibuluma and Mapalo communities, and we worshipped the Lord together. When I was playing soccer back home, I think I lost sight of, of loving the game and playing for, for life and for God. And, and I think that that was really shown to me through the kids that I saw here, through the excitement, through the joy and the passion. And that's something that's priceless and that I'll never forget. We in America lose sight of the happiness and the joy that we, we can find in everyday life. And just seeing how much joy these people carry around with themselves, whether it's playing soccer, making food, or just talking to people, um, it's really inspiring and really encouraging to, um, to know that we can find joy in the everyday, everyday things that we sometimes take for granted. And I'm really excited to go back to the States and be able to take that knowledge with me. A lot of women here aren't, don't have the ability to play football or aren't allowed to because that's the men's sport. They play netball instead. And this week I was able to play with the men's soccer team, which was a truly amazing experience and I'm very thankful for that. And when I go back to the United States, I will take back with me the fact that I'm a woman and I am able to play in a women's league. So one of my favorite days so far was definitely the peer counseling conference that we had at Jubilee Center. Um, it was really awesome because it was really our first time to get the chance to meet with um, people our age and really hearing their stories and hearing um, what they've been through and their background and all of their experiences and really being able to hear how different we are but also how similar we are. It was absolutely amazing to just be in one place together um, when we're from so far away but when we come together we really just feel like we're brothers and sisters in Christ and that was one of my favorite days. The kids here in Zambia you know, they're playing barefoot. We have cleats, shoes, different pairs of clothes every day. We, we have so much that we take for granted. So my biggest thing I'm going to take back to the States is definitely to um, complain less about everything that I have and be more grateful. My favorite part of the trip so far has been visiting the bush um, and going into a little village community area and just to see how hard these women all work each and every day to feed their families and those around them and the fellowship that they make with each other um, is just so amazing to see because it's not something that you see a lot in America and it's just so amazing to see the love that they have for each other and for everyone around them and just how they can laugh and have a great time together. It's just so amazing to experience that. The Bible says that if you can serve one person then that will make all the difference and that's what I believe so um, I plan on my commitment to Zambia being at least sponsoring a child so I can keep that commitment maybe coming back someday because um, what I've experienced in Zambia has been absolutely life-changing and I won't forget a single interaction I've had here. So thanks again uh, Juby Center. Um, I'm grateful that I came here. I could not have had these conversations with anybody in America. The, the Zambian perspective, you know, the, the Juby Center perspective is just one of a kind and I'm glad that I was able to come here and experience Africa for my first time in Zambia. Uh, thank you. We were able to experience the love of Christ and the love of God through the relationships that we shared because you could see that it's not just about being white or being black, but it's about being one people. When they interacted with our local people, it gave uh, them a sense of dignity, self-esteem, such that even uh, people who come from uh, afar are able to communicate and just be with them. Kuisa kwenulia lilipalo kuli ifwe, na tote la sana, ipati na shipu, tulaipepe la polionsefe. O imu akauleisa, Turefo amuke sena kabidi, ifo kuno na tusulama boko yesu, tureti bayensi iseni, muke sabengi, na totela mkwae.